Hey guys, what's up? Jeff from Pack Geek here with another episode. I'm here with my good buddy, Josh Gobin, a uh, longtime friend and fellow collector. Josh, thank you for joining me today. Pleasure. <laughs> pleasure, sir. <laughs> always, the pleasure is always mine. So, so dude, you you collected like a lot of us as a kid, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, I had a... Um, I had the dream job of actually working at a card shop for two summers in a row. You got to work the, in yes, a card shop. Yes, in uh, summer of '90 and the summer of '91. Oh man, and, and that was that was like the heyday for cards, early '90s. Yeah. So, what, what yeah. do you remember being the big item at the shop at that time? Well, at the time, uh, it seems like you know even the, the newer cards like Upper Deck and then Stadium Club was starting to come on. Leaf yeah. was kind of yeah, some yeah. of these were starting to be more the like the hot stuff. Um, that particular card shop didn't have like a lot of uh, like a lot of like Nolan Ryan's or Mickey Mantles or you know, some kind of cool tobacco card or something sure. like that. So it was mostly new stuff and it was new like, shiny yeah. stuff. Yeah. So you know, um, yeah. I mean, back then I know that like I wanted that Griffey upper deck. <laughs> Everybody wanted that I wanted, card. I, I, that would stare at me every day. And um, it's, a, it's a legendary card. Uh, but that particular time, um, the holy grail for me was the '85 Topps Olympic card, the McGuire. Because of he was my favorite, he was my favorite baseball player, and uh, and I still believe that the gods will forgive. <laughs> you think he'll be in the Hall of Fame for, at some is, point? Is he the only one that's asking for forgiveness and, and came clean? Well, I guess Canseco did, but Canseco didn't clear 500. Uh, yeah, I, I I would love to see those guys, you know, get considered for the Hall of Fame at some point in time, but I just don't know that it, that it's ever going to happen. Yeah, it, and. Um, and so obviously the, the ones that we're about to get into today has a little bit of, because there is a McGuire rated rookie, right? There, there is, the so yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, so we're, we're gonna be opening some 1987 Donruss today, which Ooh. as you guys know, is is packed with rookies and cards. In fact, I got a list here. So we got, the big hit is Greg Maddox. Uh, we've got a McGuire rated rookie in there, Rafael Palmero, being in Texas, you know, he's. A local guy. Possibly coming uh, back? <laughs> really? Do tell. Yeah, Wait, you didn't know that? Are we breaking this here? No, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. Okay. Like, it's on ESPN. Like, he's actually doing batting practice and sending videos saying that he is going to a spring, tra a spring training camp and he has full intentions not of as playing a, Major not League as a Baseball. Coach, but no, 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 as a player. I think he's 53 años to you and me. <laughs> I think so. That's, that is aggressive, but good luck to you. <laughs> so, uh, also Bo Jackson, uh, Barry Bonds, yes. and Barry Larkin. Larkin so, Paul it is, is quite a field of mm -hmm. players. So, um, what, all right, so who, who is, was your favorite player, McGuire? Absolutely. Still, really? Still, still kind of is, yeah. Oh man, this worked out yeah, great. It's huge. Let's get into these. We're just going to open them at the same time. Okay. Show me anything. Forgotten these? Uh, these, no, thankfully Donruss, Donruss did puzzle pieces, yeah. which uh, for those of you who might not know, Tops always had gum in their packs, which as a, when you're when you're opening the new product is great because you can actually chew it. You know, 30 some odd years later, you probably aren't gonna wanna chew that gum. So, and it could ruin some of the cards in there. So uh, Donruss and Fleer, uh, the the... Donner's had the puzzle piece, so it never ruined any cards. And Fleer has the stickers, so it never ruined any cards. So that was kind of cool. Puzzle Go ahead, piece. man. You, you start us out. Puzzle piece. A hand. <laughs> <laughs> you just toss it? You just yeah. dismiss the puzzle piece like so that? So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the hits. Like, I'm probably going to blow through some of these Matt Young cards. All right, Ozzie Smith. <laughs> bad, a bad start, I know. Our buddy Chad here is an Ozzy Smith collector. Is that right? I did not know that. Uh, How you doing over there? Oh, dude. I don't want to get into it, but it's kind of the big deck. That's what she <laughs> said. <laughs> I... Oh. oh, kids. Here. Oh, kids. Well, now, okay. I, I want to okay, say that, this. So I did... nothing, nothing showable? Mm, yeah, I got showable things. All right. So... I, I, want to, I want to address this. This is the um, the Dell Murphy. It's the, it's the painting. The diamond but, uh, king. Yes. yes. And um, <laughs> do you feel that Upper Deck hacked into Don Russ's thing? Because this is 87 and, and the, was it Vernon Wells or somebody like, like that? Something Wells, wasn't it? And Upper Deck did the paintings and the 89 oh, Upper Deck. Remember I, I know that? what you're talking about. Do you, think I... that, do you think that Don Russ was going, God, these guys hacked it. Now they got a better <laughs> artist because it looks so clean and well, polished. Well, it appealed to art collectors who may like be art Van sports Gogh fans. post <laughs> single ear, right? Days. 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> so I got a Dale Murphy, but I got um, Steve Lyons. Now, only notable because he pulled his pants down. Remember that? Is that he pulled his no, pants down on camera. Hold on, I need to go fly. No, no it's actually, okay. it's a, it, anyways. I actually pulled a Clemens. Hey, hey, that's a nice car. Yep, 87 nice. Clemens. Um, and then I actually pulled a Conseco. What? So that's one year out. Lucky. Dude, that's still a nice car. And actually, like, oh, you know what? If you look at the, the Donruss card, that's a, I like the big fat black border and the gold, the gold little uh, that, accents. It's not a bad looking card. No. It's a lot better than their 88. I you did way better in your pack than I did. A lot better than their 90. Yeah. All right, so you got you got anything else mentionable? Uh, I got a Hall of Famer. What? I got uh, Eddie Murray. <laughs> my card was my pack was a dud. I pulled Ozzy Smith. I mean, I can't really complain. Got Ozzy. Okay, right. we got the Wizard of Oz. Everybody else is common players. All right, all right. Let's let's move on to pack number two here. Yep. yep. Wish you luck. I think this one's gonna be. Gonna be a hot pack. Or maybe not. Puzzle for a second. Oh, I got the neck. I may have this whole thing solved. Yeah! You're getting all of the good cards. I, I pulled a Dave Winfield Diamond King, which is not notable, but when your pack is as bad as the one I just opened, this this is your big pull. Man, that's oh. <laughs> you don't have a poker face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I pulled, I just, uh, I got I got a Kirby Puckett, which is a fair pull. Beautiful, and then I got my a, wife's favorite player. Pete Incavilla, one of the greatest softball players to ever play Major League Baseball. <laughs> he, he does, right? he always looked beer league. Him and Darren yeah. Dalton and John Cruck John and Pete Incavilla, they yep. look like they'd have been, the, and Lenny Dykstra, they, those, the whole Phillies look like they could have won any, any Just the happy champion. hour crew. Yeah. I love those They would have played for pints too. <laughs> Guarantee you. So All right, here we go. Yep. Pack, pack number three. Yep. Gobin, you're just, you're, yep. you're killing me. Yep. So we'll, we'll turn this into a bit of a competition. See who's pulling the best. Wait till I get going. Definitely get the better puzzle pieces. So I gotta ask you, you have two young boys. Do yes. either one of them collect sports cards? Uh, they are slowly being introduced. Okay, so how are you doing that for, for the, the viewers out there? So I'm showing them like a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, my sports cards and then we watch sports. I, I let them watch Sports Center with me. We're trying, I just try and let them see uh, just the memorabilia aspect, and I don't put too much emphasis on it. You know, I just yeah. said, hey, like we don't take them out of the sleeves, or we don't play with daddy's collection, stuff like that, <laughs> right? But I just, I, I don't try to put it on some kind of the post. I want them to dig it on their own. Yeah. You know, so exposure, don't over hit them over the head with a hammer. And then, now, now, do you try to link up, like, because I, I know it, it, it was big for me when I was little watching Sports Center. You would you would see the big plays, and then you would want to find cards from those players. Yes. Like, are you trying to link it up with that, or are you just trying to introduce, you know, the sport in general? Just and, the sport in general, and then kind of talking about some, like, I'll say he's good, he's their best player. Yeah. And just so that they have their own generation of players that they're aware of. You sure. Know? They're Michael Jordan, you know, of today. Right. You know? Who would you say uh, that is? Probably James or I don't think it's a Lamar Ball kid. <laughs> is that his name, Lamar Ball? Or is that his dad? He gets more flat I, I'm staying out of that. It's pretty cool, I guess. All right, here we go. So, how, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait! You got a couple, oh, yep. a couple cards. To I pulled show a, here. Uh, I, I pulled, I pulled a, nothing. I pulled a Jose Canseco uh, Van Gogh piece. And there's no way that painting is of Jose Canseco. That, I'm sorry, that doesn't look any. That's not Awful. even his brother Ozzy. No, that like, looks that like. Is, I'm no. not sure who that is, but that's not Jose Canseco. No. That is Juan Canseco, I, I, which I is the third that. brother that no one knows about. <laughs> right, right, the third He's got the, the marshmallow face. Look at that. Very squashy <laughs> that face. That is not Jose Canseco. He looks like he should be saying the plane. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's Herve Villages knockoff. And then I got Jim Rice, which is Schmeh. You know, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer? Yeah. He did yeah, make it? He did. Yep. Well, he's beyond Schmeh. Nice work, man. This is. So the highlight of my polls today is probably going to be Von Hayes, Woo. Diamond King. That's rough. It's not going well for me, guys. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a Roger McDowell. Wasn't he the silly pitcher? Did a lot of stuff on MTV when MTV started doing stuff in the early '90s. But was that McDowell guy? Maybe. I, that, 
That's Ugh, a good question. Terrible you're, puzzle you're, piece. You terrible. always beat me on trivia, so I'm, I'm sorry That's if I'm, I'm I, I don't have a response. That's why I'm in the band. <laughs> Boy, there's some guys I don't even remember. Wow. Ooh, there's a Fred Lynn. Boy, he looked, he looked 50 when he played right here, didn't he? Look at that. <laughs> he's dead. He, Fred Lynn looks like a coach. He looks he, like a coach. He looks like a batting coach. Who gave that coach a bat? <laughs> there's the hawk. Okay, we got we to gotta show the hawk. Ooh, this is real Expo's time. Hawk. There we go. Well, Andre Dawson. And how many dingers did he have that year? You know, he was just, look at that, 23, 32. Then he had like 47 or something like that. He had, he had a big lifetime home run number. It was a 47 or 49, something like that. He had the George Bell or sluggers that nobody talks about anymore back then. And hey, we're talking about him now. <laughs> Never even heard. You know who that is? Uh, that is not Robin Yount, but I, I remember pulling That's the That's not Char Paul Mulder or Robin Yount. I remember so pulling got a, the Charlie Moore. <laughs> Let's show that show just so they know what we're talking about. Charlie when, Moore. When you're going through 87 Donruss, especially if you're a kid and you're looking for particular faces and names, this you pull it out and you're like, Robin Yount! And you no, get to the name and you're like, no, that's, that's, it's oh, not even... Paul Mulder, no. That's, that's, that's a brother Charlie. All right, Josh, you're awesome. And because you're a guest on the Pack Geek series, I've got a Pack Geek t-shirt here for you. <laughs> it's gonna be a great year. <laughs> and and you might recognize that face on there uh, from one of our favorite 80s pretty movies, Pretty strong. Revenge of the Nerds. Might, there might be a slight- A resemblance. Yeah, slight- We'll just we'll say a resemblance, right, right? right? Just a resemblance. What is that, Lewis Skolnick? Lewis, that's a very nice pull of the last Thank name, you. sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's been another episode of Pack Geek with Josh Gobin. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> and we're out. She's not until like they say. Dude, you you're like the guest of the year. I can already do okay. <laughs> People can be like, let's just oh, have Gilman host this pressure, series. You man, as soon as it goes. <laughs> you did awesome, man. That was great. We didn't yeah. get a ring to rookie, though. I know, I know. That's, that's, that's the way to pull the... Doesn't it? Rocky.